2019 Mountain Dew GSL Season 3 Code S Reversal Welcome back. It's time to kill one of our players. Deer versus Classic. I think it's going to be Deer. I think I mean, so. I think so. Classic's PvP is really strong. Well, Classic's just an absolutely terrifying Protoss player. I don't know, man. I mean, it's it's so weird. Sometimes, and players we would say, sometimes Deer, they think he's like the best player that's there. Yeah. And then other times, it's like days like today. Well, yeah, he's... Basically, he's got the respect of all the pros, which really means something. Uh, that's right. probably the highest accolades you can get. But if you don't deliver, then it doesn't, you know... A lot of people would trade those high accolades for delivering when it matters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, this is one of these things that sometimes, you know, you might have one player who's, like, got a higher ladder rank or performs better, but then uh, this other player can actually win under pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, Deer is a professional gamer. That's actually where it counts. That's, yeah, that's where the money is. That's where the uh, the success is. Uh, we're going to go to GSL Cobalt. So let's see what the PvP on this map looks like. This is Deer versus Classic. Fight. Newbie, Deer. <laughs> Makers, classic. So, Cobalt. It's kind of interesting to see this map being played right now in a PvP. Uh, they are vertical spawns, so it might play somewhat, somewhat normally, right? Well, one thing about a right side of the map, not PvP, like yeah, it, uh, PvP in general is that long distances apart does not mean the games will not have rushes. Unlike a lot of the other matchups, where it's like, oh, yeah. well, they're so far away. It, it, you know, immortal base, uh, robo based armies, I guess is the right way to put it, will take a lot longer. That is true. To but walk, but warpins really do not. Yeah, once you get there, then you can actually reinforce very easily with yeah, warpins. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see um, that. Uh, I think you're probably right, Artos. This is at the bottom right side of the map. It might not get a lot of attention, but you can always hide a base. You can always hide tech over there. That's true. And Seems this is one of those maps that's so big that you can probably hide tech and almost be guaranteed it's not going to be spotted. That's that's super true. It's not you can't even send hallucinations towards the right side of the map because they'll die before they get to see anything. Yeah, it would be yeah. like the stupidest use of hallucination. If someone hallucinates scouted, like if he puts a building in the bottom right and a hallucination goes from classic space over there, I think we can all agree that classic's map hacking. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> right? Like there's just no way. We're like pause the game, pause the game. It seems like he's gonna build something there though. What I mean it's almost further away from classic space than his own bases, so <laughs> yeah. I feel like it'll be like a Twilight Tech, maybe. Probably. Maybe it's like a DT rush. The one thing it can't be is a Robo. What if it is a Robo? We're like, huh? Could be additional gates or something. Yeah, you know, if it's a Robo, it's that's where I go. Disqualify both players now. Yeah. Like what? There's like what? I didn't even do anything. I told you. Like, I saw how you played against Zest. Yeah. Okay, next is finishing up here for classic. Playing the probe comes up here. And it confirms that there is a Nexus here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what? Yeah, just go right in. Yep. Help All yourself. Right. I guess he can. Yeah, so Twilight coming up from Deer. So he's going to try to really, you know, go after this right away. What is that? Twilight can't do anything here, right? It can't. Well, I, what, what do you mean Twilight can't do anything here? Like, what do you, what do you oh, okay, he's making a Nexus too. I was, because when he made the Twilight, it looked to me like, oh, this must be a one base play. But against the build he's up against from Classic, where he already has the Nexus, you can't you can't see the Nexus and then make a Twilight and be like, I'm going to kill that Nexus. Because he's going to have two Immortals before Blink is done 100% of oh, the time. No, this is just straight up DT rush yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, so that's... Classic's Robo is coming along, but we need to wait and see, okay, like does he have an Observer in the right spot? You know, PvP, it's... You have to make sure that your Observer is there. I mean, if let's say the Observer goes across mm -hmm. the map... You need and to the make DTs sure you... can loop around the scouting path. DT is not the most popular opener. There's 
some possibility that you're it's more expecting yeah, aggression, and then maybe you don't even make the observer, yeah. right? Yeah, see, we have a war prism being made, and I mean, maybe he'll even make an immortal after that, and yeah, the it's tech a will be there, but the, um, the, the unit that counters it is not. Yeah, this is definitely something that can occur. Wow. Okay, observer is actually being made, so uh, okay. classic playing it safe. Is he going to actually find this? That would be really funny if he finds it. It's a very nice carpet over at the spawn over there. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Good in front of my fireplace. Hmm. So How is the carpet in such good shape once the hatchery dies and the creeper seeds? That's my question. Yeah, that you is think a, it good, would be destroyed. a little bit weird. Yeah, you think it would be ruined. Okay, uh, blocks the adepts. Where's the observer now? Oh, right, right where it needs to be. Well, hold on, the army's not there though, so yeah. he will run right through and the observer's line of vision. Splitting these up, I mean, yeah, he's not quite ready. He's been too preoccupied trying to stop these adepts. How and many? now, oh, look at that, and the adepts in the main base as well. Okay, well, there was actually a lot less probes killed than I thought it was going to be, but he did get up to eight. Oh, hold on. Yeah. That's also still alive. <laughs> okay. Um, wow, these guys both taking a beating here. Yeah, they really are. Oh, it takes the, the war prism out. Yeah, very hard on uh, Cobalt to actually keep your war prism alive. There, there's no, unlike almost all the other maps, there's no uh, vacant space where you can yeah. hover that and no. ground units can't get to it. No dead air space there. On the sides of the mains there are, of course, because right. you have that kind of islandy area. But yeah, uh, not, not as simple for hiding in the main. Or right behind. Yeah, that was that was a lot of damage from both sides. <laughs> yeah, right. very nicely so done. So where are we at right now then? Well, it's weird because they actually lost the same number of workers, so it's like things sort of balance out. Yeah, but uh, it was DT tech, whereas Classic went for Robotech, and I think Robotech is a little bit better, but we see Zealot yeah. Legs is being upgraded and more gateways are being thrown down here. So yeah. I guess we're going to have some kind of a, a charge lot timing attack come out. Yeah, that I, I could see that being a reasonable follow-up for this. And, you and know, there's no, there, there's not Templar tech yet here for classic, so he can't just get Archons, which are the direct counter to those zealots. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to kind of abuse what they've got. Ooh, he actually finds the tech. Might have to warp in a DT down there. No, oh, this is just funny. Yeah, you can't let charge be canceled. <laughs> Does charge get canceled, anyways? Well, I mean, we're I think to, it does. This really allows you no. to actually take a moment and yeah, appreciate. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah. Oh my this god. This is actually really funny. <laughs> well, this is funny. If he kills that, he needs to stand in front of the pile. Stand there! Body Ooh. block! The body block is That's real! That's so handsome. Oh my god. That was sick. I can't believe he saved that. Wow. And this, the hold position on the DT, if he hadn't done that, man, you don't get charged. And <gasps> suddenly you're but building. he's going to make a stalker. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's going to be charging. Oh! I love this. Oh, ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Is that speeding up? Did that speed up? He cheated. That wasn't going per second. That was crazy. And, uh, of course, you can have an unpowered Dark Shrine and still make DTs, guys. It's no problem. <laughs> yeah. Can't get your DT blink, but who cares? Yep. Now the whole game's going to be about trying to send a probe down there and the other player trying to stop it so you can power it again. <laughs> Okay, well, he comes in, insta unpowers this uh, little area here, but there's three immortals behind uh, the gateway and the cybernetic score. Yeah, I mean, with those three immortals in the prism, this is seeming like a, a hard journey to actually kill him off. All right, going to hop his immortals over to the other side, but these, oh, my God, the immortals just slaying right now. Ouch. If only he had, I don't know, he, the, the buildings were just laid out so well here. All the stalkers stuck behind, unable to get their extra damage in. Still gets 12 probes so far. Oh my god, is there no detection here? The DTs Wait are just slaying everything. I guess there is no detection. I guess after he, he literally doesn't have an observer right now. He doesn't he actually, have an observer. It, it, on, he's unpowered the, the robo. Oh my god, he's just going to kill him. Yeah. He just has no way to actually get any detection out. And already the army here for Deer is too strong. Wow. GG. Whoa. I thought, I thought Classic was going to end up holding that because the Set. Immortals slain the Archons so hard. Oh, but yeah. Oh, look at Classic. He is not happy with oh, this. Oh, no. He is a sad bear. He's a very sad bear.
Wow, that sucks for Classic, but I'll tell you what, really slick win there by Deer. That was cool. Yeah, no, Save that was, was a good win. I, I'm all for Deer. Deer's winning this game. GSL, guys. Yeah. I'm a Fairweather <laughs> fan. My gosh. I mean, I would like to see it. Uh, but yeah, that that was a weird game when you think about it. Very, very peculiar game. Huh. Hmm. Anyways, Triton, our next map. Okay. Triton it is. Uh, I don't know. Let's just see what they do, man. Yeah. Well, that's most PvPs, isn't it? Yeah, there's really no way to be like, well, on this map, it's mostly like, it's like, well, we just got to wait for the text to come out. Yeah. But hey, man, Deer, 1-0 right now against Classic. Uh, and our game's ready, so let's go ahead and hop into that now. Fight! Newbie, dear. <laughs> Makers, classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no question that. Zest cheering for Deer here. Yeah, there's always that. <laughs> there's always that narrative of the guy that's in the uh, the final match who's just hoping that the player that he thinks is worse is somehow going to win in an upset. 